Considered one of the most successful actors of all time, Johnny Depp has formed a solid bond with moviegoers spanning multiple generations due to his ability to fully absorb himself into an assortment of dynamic characters. The talented actor's real-life story is filled with equally surprising twists and turns at par with the plots of some of the movies he's starred in throughout his career. During his early years, Depp had musical aspirations. However, it wasn't long before he discovered the allure of the big screen. The versatile actor emerged from his teen idol days to find success in a string box office hits. His unique ability to bring characters to life has included high-profile collaborations with top directors and a lucrative relationship with the Disney team in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. While he has established a solid reputation for knowing what moviegoers want, Depp has also a penchant for choosing projects based more on the challenge of the role rather than the potential for box office success. He has managed to find just the right balance between choosing roles for the true love of becoming absorbed into a character's world to reprising familiar roles with renewed enthusiasm. He has bagged in various awards and accolades for his phenomenal performances, including a Screen Actors Guild Award and a Golden Globe Award. He has also earned the Academy Award nominations thrice and have been nominated for the BAFTA twice. His portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of Caribbean made him one of the most commercially successful film stars, and he earned critical praise for his role in Finding Neverland. His marriage to Amber Heard in 2015 and their divorce drew a lot of media attention. Johnny Depp was born on June 9, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky. The youngest of the four children of John Christopher Depp and Elizabeth Betty Sue Wells, Depp's early aspirations were rooted in a deep appreciation of rock music. The actor's early years were also influenced by frequent moves throughout his childhood since his father was civil engineer. By 1970, Johnny and his family called Miramar, Florida home. At the age of 12, he received a guitar as a gift from his mother, which would soon inspire him to play in local garage bands. Depp's parents divorced when he was 15. He dropped out of high school to pursue his love of rock music. The aspiring musician made his way to Los Angeles, where he was part of Six Gun Method, a band that broke up before being signed to label. He did, however, get signed to Geffen Records as a member of the band Rock City Angels. In the early 1980s, Johnny's wife, Lori, introduced her husband to a young actor by the name of Nicolas Cage, who encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. Johnny Depp's first acting role was as a boyfriend of the lead character, Nancy, in A Nightmare on Elm Street in 1984. While Depp's character met an early demise, his acting career continued to thrive as he earned a small role in Oliver Stone's Platoon playing a Vietnamese-speaking private. In early 1987, he made his television debut in what would become his breakthrough role as Tom Hansen, an undercover cop posing as a high school student on the hit television series 21 Jump Street. His next movie role was in Cry Baby in 1990. While not a big hit at the box office, the campy movie has since become a cult classic. Later that year, he starred as the title character in Edward Scissorhands, the first of many collaborations with director Tim Burton. Depp followed up the success of Edward Scissorhands with Benny and June and What's Eating Gilbert Grape in 1993, both considered sleeper hits. He displayed his diversity as an actor in Arizona Dream, also released in the same year. Proving that he's more interested in the characters he plays rather than box office potential. The skilled actor teamed with Burton to play the title role in Ed Wood, a 1994 tribute to the notoriously inept director. In 1995, he showed his versatility by starring in Don Juan de Marco, wherein he portrayed an eccentric man who believes himself to be the great lover, Dead Man, a western filmed in black and white, and Nick of Time, a dark drama about an accountant who must knock off a politician in order to save his kidnapped daughter. The fictionalized story of an FBI agent who infiltrates the mob became Depp's next movie role in 1997, when he teamed with Al Pacino in Donnie Brasco. In 1998, 
He paid homage to Hunter S. Thompson by playing a version of the writer in the film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Later that year, he had a small role in L.A. Without a map. He wrapped up the 20th century with roles in the thriller The Ninth Gate, co-written by Roman Polanski, Sleepy Hollow, as Ichabod Crane, and the sci-fi thriller The Astronaut's Wife opposite Charlize Theron. Depp continued to show his diversity as an actor as the new millennium arrived, with roles in the romantic drama Chocolate and Before Night Falls, based on the life of Cuban poet and novelist Reynaldo Arenas, both released in 2000. The following year, he appeared in Blow, The Man Who Cried, and From Hell, which is an account of the infamous Jack the Ripper killings. In 2003, he starred in Once Upon a Time in Mexico, the last film in Robert Rodriguez's Mexico trilogy. That same year, this talented artist made his debut as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. In 2004, he made a cameo appearance in Happily Ever After before starring in Secret Window, based on a story by Stephen King. Also in 2004, he played J.M. Barry, the creator of Peter Pan, in the film Finding Neverland. This was followed by a role in the British drama The Libertine later that year. In 2004, Depp and his sister, Christy Dombrowski, put together a production company called Infinitum Nihil. The first film produced by the company was The Rum Diary, a film adaptation of the Hunter S. Thompson novel of the same name. In 2005, he became Willy Wonka and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a darker version of the classic tale by Roald Dahl. That same year, he provided the voice of Victor Van Dort in Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. He returned to his Captain Jack Sparrow role in 2006 and 2007 in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest and Pirates of the Caribbean, at World's End, respectively. He wrapped up 2007 with a darker role as the title character in the film adaptation of Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, another collaboration with Burton. He became notorious gangster John Dillinger in Public Enemies in 2009. This was followed by The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, where Depp was among a handful of actors selected to fill in for Heath Ledger's character since the actor had died during filming. In 2010, he became the Mad Hatter in Burton's version of Alice in Wonderland. He followed this up with a role in The Tourist and served as the voice of the title character in Rango. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides marked his return as Captain Sparrow in 2011. This was followed by roles in The Rum Diary and Jack and Jill, in which he made an uncredited cameo as himself. He made another uncredited cameo in the 2012 film version of his iconic TV show 21 Jump Street, playing an agent. He once again teamed with Burton to assume the role of Barnabas Collins in the big screen version of Dark Shadows the same year. The following year, he was Tonto in The Lone Ranger opposite Army Hammer. Also in 2013, he made a cameo appearance in Lucky Them before moving on to his role as Dr. Will Caster in science fiction movie, Transcendence. After being cast in Transcendence, the talented actor was credited as Guy Lapointe when he appeared in Tusk in 2014, before debuting as the Wolf in Into the Woods later that year. In early 2015, Depp starred with Gwyneth Paltrow and Ewan McGregor as an eccentric art dealer in Mordecai. His subsequent roles in 2015 and beyond include roles in Black Mass, London Fields, and Yoga Hosers. Depp reprised his role as the Mad Hatter in Alice Through the Looking Glass that was released in 2016. He suited up again as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Johnny Depp emerged as a star worth paying attention to with his performance in Edward Scissorhands. The dark romantic fantasy cast a spell on audiences due to its tragic love story plot. Released on December 7, 1990 in the United States, the movie went on to bring in nearly $90 million at the box office. Donnie Brasco once again shows his ability to reflect the characteristics and mannerisms of his character. 
What's unique about his performance in this movie is that he comes across as entirely believable, further displaying his versatility as an actor, as an FBI agent working undercover to capture dangerous mobsters. The movie was both a critical and financial success, raking in nearly $125 million at the box office. The Pirates of the Caribbean film series has proven to be one of the most significant works from Depp. It's considered among the star's major career achievements due to the universal appeal of the film series and his charismatic interpretation of Captain Jack Sparrow character. Depp formed a bond with his mother's second husband, singer Robert Palmer, whom he cited as an inspirational person in his life. In December of 1983, he married the sister of one of the band members of Rock City Angels, Lori and Allison. He supported himself financially by working as a telemarketer while his wife worked as a makeup artist. But the marriage culminated in a divorce two years later. In 1986, he became engaged to, but never married, a then-aspiring actress named Sherilyn Fenn, but the relationship ended in the later 80s. After that the actor had a long-term off and on relationship with French singer Vanessa Parody from 1988 through 2012. Parody is also the mother of Depp's two children. Their daughter Lily Rose Melody Depp was born in 1999, and their son John Christopher Depp III came along three years later.